Hi fourth grade, hopefully you have your practice area set up. I've got my recorder out and it's on my neck and I also have my book is all ready to go. And I have something else super important to have, a pencil and I even have my water right here. So I am all set for a recorder practice and hopefully you are too. So when we play the recorder, the first thing we want to think about is how we're sitting. We don't want to sit with our bellies bent over and hunched, right? Because then you don't breathe very well. We want to open up all of that area so we're going to sit up nice and tall so that way we get the best support that we can when we play our instrument, right? So when we use our breath, we don't have to use very much air to make a note come out. A lot of people think you need a lot. You don't need that much. So we're going to do a practice on how we're going to breathe when we play our first note. So I want you to think of a candle flame. And I'm sure you've seen a candle flame move before without getting blown out. Have you seen that? I have too. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a pretend candle flame right here. And I want you to take your air and I want you to blow the candle flame out. Ready? Did you blow it out? I hope so, but we don't want to use that kind of forceful air when we play the recorder. So this time, instead of blowing out your candle flame, let's make that candle flame just dance and move a little bit, right? So here's our candle flame. Let's try again. Ready? Did you feel how much air you just used? That's the same amount of air that we want to put through our instrument. So when we start playing our very first notes, we're actually not going to worry about where all of our fingers are going for the moment. We're going to instead worry about how much air we're using. So I want you just to hold right below your neck strap. There shouldn't be any holes there. And we're going to put our instrument in our mouth. And if you look to the side, you see this little dip. We're going to take the dip and it's going to go in toward us like this. Now I'm not biting on the recorder because that is not edible, okay? So we're gonna put that part just under where our teeth are, right? And it's over my lip on the bottom. Now let's use that same amount of air and play our very first sound. Ready? One, two, go. Did you make it sound like I did? If you went a little too high, then you're using too much air. If you came out with something like this, using too little air. So let's try it one more time. Ready? One, two, ready. Good job. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is what to do with our hands. So I would love it if you all held up your left hand for me. Mine is on this side. And I remember that it's my left because I actually wear a watch on this hand and I don't on this one. So if you have a bracelet or um, something that you could put a dot on your hand to show that that one's your left one, we're always going to put that left hand on top. And from there, I want you to look at your fingers. Do you see the area right here on your finger? It's this flat part. That's what we're going to use when we're putting our fingers over the holes on the recorder. So we're going to start with our left thumb. So if you can hold your thumbs up for me, we're going to look at our recorder. And if you look at the very back, there's a hole right about here. That is right for our thumb. So we're going to put our thumb right over that hole. Notice that I'm not arcing my thumb up to go on the very tippy tip, but I'm flattening it out. We want to use the pads of our fingers to cover the holes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pointer finger and it's going to go on the first hole right in front of the thumb. This note is called B and if we were to look at it on the staff, it would be right here on the third line. Remember, every good boy, right? or bad boy in our Mr. Everybody's Musical Apartment story. So that's our very first note is B. 
let's all play with our thumb and our first finger down on our left hand. So check and make sure your left hand is on top. Let's play that note B together. One, two, ready, and... Did you play B with me? Let's try that one more time. Ready? One, two, ready, and... If yours came out just like mine, awesome job. If yours came out like this, then you're using too much air, okay? If yours came out like this, then you have a hole that is leaking. So we need to make sure that the pads of our fingers are covering those holes. Notice that my fingers are staying flat. We wanna make sure that ours do too. So we don't wanna arch them up so that we're using our tippy tips, but we wanna push them down so we're using that flatter, fatter part of our fingers. On your book, you're gonna see an exercise on page five, and it is called B, and it actually has a B right next to it. We're gonna play this exercise in just a second, but the first thing that we're gonna do is clap the rhythms of that exercise. So let's clap those rhythms together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna see two dots at the end. That means to repeat it one time and then stop. So on our exercise, let's hear you clap it just one time this time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So our next step is we're gonna put our thumb over our back hole and our first finger of our left hand, make sure that your left hand is on top. And we're going to put that over the first hole. This is the only note we need for this whole exercise. So let's play that excerpt together. One, two, ready, go. trouble by using your huh sound, we want to use something called a tonguing exercise. So if you can say the word t, if you have that t sound, where is your tongue? Right, the roof of your mouth. So we're going to use that t as our way to separate each note. So when I play it, I'll have t. Try that and see how you do this time. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. Our next exercise has more B's next to it. And if you look in your book, it is on page five, right here. So when we look at this exercise, we have some different notes this time. They're shorter. So we have quarter notes and half notes. Let's clap that rhythm to start with. So listen to me the first time and then clap it back to me the second time. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, let's clap it for me now. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job. If you had problems with your notes coming out like this, make sure that you use less air the next time. Let's try playing it one more time together. One, two, ready, go. How 
How did you do? If you're still having trouble using t for each of your notes, keep practicing and we'll see you back for the next video where we add a new note, which is A. See you later.